There is all getting matched up uh, every night, and I'm finding myself consumed by them. Austin Matthews has number 14 on the year. The front scores. Johnny Gaudreau. Here's Besser in on goal. He scores. I don't think my excitement for it is ever going to waver. Stutzler, one-timer, scores! Oh, baby, what a goal! Did you see that move? Nikolai Ehlers, the overtime winner. What a brilliant piece of work from Connor McDavid. This is a lot of fun. The North has been wild this year. And quite frankly, there's been no shortage of drama south of the border either. Just past the quarter mark of the season, here's one defining trend for each of the league's new look divisions. Let's start with the All-Canadian group, where scoring has been fast and furious. McDavid scores! Connor McDavid! High-scoring games are a nightly occurrence in the North. Teams combining to score more than six goals a game, almost half a goal more than the rest of the NHL. As for the Art Ross and the Rocket, the division boasts seven of the top 10 point leaders, as well as eight of the top 11 goal scorers in the league. Matthews in scores! It's a beauty for Austin Matthews! On the flip side, the West has been the stingiest of them all. They're allowing the fewest goals per game. They have the highest save percentage, and they boast the most shutouts as well. In fact, 16% of the West's games have seen a shutout. Mark andre Fleury with the reflexes of a cat. Now, if drama is what you're looking for, the East has got you covered. Games have been tied or within a goal for almost 80% of playing time. They've already had more than a third of their games go to overtime. Crosby scores! Sidney Crosby wins it! And so far, the cream of the crop resides in the Central. There are only six teams in the league with a points percentage of at least 750. Half of those teams play in the Central Division. Between the Panthers, Lightning, and Hurricanes, not one of them has lost back-to-back -back in regulation so far this season. Try to win it! Hoover now moves in, and he scores! Okay, guys, so those are some of the early trends that we've been tracking in the new look NHL so far, a quarter of the way through the season. What's jumped out to you so far, Frank? Well, it's certainly the top of the Central Division. Those two teams, the Florida Panthers and Chicago Blackhawks, come on. There's no one that had those teams leading the division at this point. And I think actually both teams are a little bit of a mirage. I think you see some of the Panthers' success. You see some schedule effects. They caught a lot of backup goalies. They've had Chris Dreger come out of nowhere with his save percentage. I mean, none of that was to be expected. And then you take a look at the Chicago Blackhawks, and yes, they've gotten such a shot in the arm from their youth, but that's a team with a 6-11 points percentage. There's been a significant games played disparity, and that's a team with Columbus and Dallas knocking on the door. Well, I, I don't see the that team, the Chicago Blackhawks, as a playoff team that can hang on to that fourth and final spot if we were to reorder the standings by points percentage. Well, the thing that's jumped off the page for me, guys, is just the disparity in games played. And I know there, every situation is different when you've got Dallas that's faced to COVID issues and, and power outages. The Buffalo Sabres have had COVID. I mean, the New Jersey Devils have played 10 games. Vancouver has played 20. So when you look at it, Quinn Hughes are going, it's amazing. He's got a point a game, got 20 points. Well, people in New Jersey, the, the players are sitting there going, I'd love an opportunity to play 20 games, but I haven't been able to do that. So not only are these guys watching other teams pass them in the standings, they're sitting at home, they're getting out of shape, they're not really in a groove as far as playing well because they haven't been able to play together, they haven't been able to play any games. So that's the biggest challenge for me in the, in the National Hockey right now is the disparity and the amount of games played and really the drop-off from games 20 to games 10. And it was, I get the sense that with all the other postponements, that's going to continue to happen throughout a bigger part of the year. Uh, Leafs come in tonight with a six-point lead in the North Division. They also sit third overall in the points percentage behind only the Panthers and the Bruins. And when you throw in the defending champs right now, four of the top six teams in the league in points percentage come from what we would normally refer to as the Atlantic Division.